The Book of Jeremiah Hebrew, Spur Yirimia, abbreviated Jer, or Germ, in citations is the second of the latter prophets in the Hebrew Bible, and the second of the prophets in the Christian Old Testament. The superscription at chapter 1-1-3 identifies it as, "...the words of Jeremiah son of Hilkiah," and places the prophet historically from the reforms of King Josiah in 627 BC through to the assassination of the Babylonian appointed governor of Judah in 582. Of all the prophets, Jeremiah comes through most clearly as a person, ruminating to his scribe Baruch about his role as a servant of God with little good news for his audience. Jeremiah is written in a very complex and poetic Hebrew, apart from verse 1011, curiously written in Biblical Aramaic. It has come down in two distinct though related versions, one in Hebrew, the other known from a Greek translation. Scholars have had differing opinions as to how to reconstruct the historical aspects of the book of Jeremiah due to the differences each version contains when compared with each other. The book is a representation of the message and significance of the prophet substantially intended for the Jews in Babylonian exile. Its purpose is to explain the disaster as God's response to Israel. S. Pagan worship, the people, says Jeremiah, are like an unfaithful wife and rebellious children, their infidelity and rebelliousness make judgment inevitable, although restoration and a new covenant are foreshadowed. Structure Taken from Michael D. Coogan's A Brief Introduction to the Old Testament, other sources will give slightly different divisions it is difficult to discern any structure in Jeremiah, probably because the book had such a long and complex composition history. It can be divided into roughly six sections. Chapters 1-25 The earliest and main core of Jeremiah's message. Chapters 26-29 Biographic material and interaction with other prophets. Chapters 30 to 33 God's promise of restoration including Jeremiah's new covenant which is interpreted differently in Judaism than it is in Christianity Chapters 34 to 45 mostly interaction with Zedekiah and the fall of Jerusalem Chapters 46 to 51 divine punishment to the nations surrounding Israel Chapter 52, appendix that retells 2 Kings 24.18 to 25.30. Topic. Summary. Topic. Topic. Historical background. Topic. The background to Jeremiah is briefly described in the superscription to the book. Jeremiah began his prophetic mission in the 13th year of King Josiah, about 627 BC, and finished in the 11th year of King Zedekiah, 586, when Jerusalem went into exile in the 6th month. During this period, Josiah changed the Judahite religion, Babylon destroyed Assyria, Egypt briefly imposed vassal status on Judah, Babylon defeated Egypt and made Judah a Babylonian vassal 605, Judah revolted but was subjugated again by Babylon 597, and Judah revolted once more. This revolt was the final one, Babylon destroyed Jerusalem and its temple and exiled its king and many of the leading citizens in 586, ending Judah's existence as an independent or quasi-independent kingdom and inaugurating the Babylonian exile. Overview the book can be conveniently divided into biographical, prose and poetic strands, each of which can be summarized separately. The biographical material is to be found in chapters 26-29, 32, and 34-44, and focuses on the events leading up to and surrounding the fall of Jerusalem to the Babylonians in 587. It provides precise dates for the prophet's activities beginning in 609 BCE. The non-biographical prose passages, such as the Temple Sermon in Chapter 7 and the Covenant Passage in 11-1-17, are scattered throughout the book. They show clear affinities with the Deuteronomists, the school of writers and editors who shaped the series of history books from Judges to Kings, and while it is unlikely they come directly from Jeremiah, they may well have their roots in traditions about what he said and did. The poetic material is found largely in chapters 1-25 and consists of oracles in which the prophet speaks as God's messenger. These passages, dealing with Israel's 
s unfaithfulness to God, the call to repentance, and attacks on the religious and political establishment, are mostly undated and have no clear context, but it is widely accepted that they represent the teachings of Jeremiah and are the earliest stage of the book. Allied to them, and also probably a reflection of the authentic Jeremiah, are further poetic passages of a more personal nature, which have been called Jeremiah's Confessions or Spiritual Diary. In these poems the prophet agonizes over the apparent failure of his mission, is consumed by bitterness at those who oppose or ignore him, and accuses God of betraying him. Topic. Composition Topic. Topic. Texts and manuscripts Topic. Jeremiah exists in two versions, a Greek translation, called the Septuagint, dating from the last few centuries before Christ and found in the earliest Christian manuscripts, and the Masoretic Hebrew text of traditional Jewish Bibles. The Greek version is shorter than the Hebrew by about one-eighth, and arranges the material differently. Equivalents of both versions were found among the Dead Sea Scrolls, so that is clear that the differences mark important stages in the transmission of the text. Most scholars hold that the Hebrew text underlying the Septuagint version is older than the Masoretic text, and that the Masoretic evolved either from this or from a closely related version. The shorter version ultimately became canonical in Greek Orthodox churches, while the longer was adopted in Judaism and in Western Christian churches. Topic. Composition history Topic. It is generally agreed that the three types of material interspersed through the book, poetic, narrative, and biographical, come from different sources or circles. Authentic oracles of Jeremiah are probably to be found in the poetic sections of chapters 1 to 25, but the book as a whole has been heavily edited and added to by followers including perhaps the prophet's companion, the scribe Baruch, and later generations of Deuteronomists. The date of the final versions of the book, Greek and Hebrew, can be suggested by the fact that the Greek shows concerns typical of the early Persian period, while the Masoretic, i.e., Hebrew, shows perspectives which, although known in the Persian period, did not reach their realization until the second century BCE. Topic: <laughs> Literary development. Topic: The Book of Jeremiah grew over a long period of time. The Greek stage, looking forward to the fall of Babylon and aligning in places with 2 Isaiah, had already seen major redaction editing in terms of overall structure, the superscriptions sentences identifying following passages as the words of God or of Jeremiah, the assignment of historical settings, an arrangement of material, and may have been completed by the late exilic period last half of the 6th century BCE. The initial stages of the Masoretic Hebrew version may have been written not long afterwards, although chapter 33-14 14 minus 26 points to a setting in post-exilic times. Topic: <inaudible> Jeremiah. Topic: According to its opening verses, the book records the prophetic utterances of the priest Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, to whom the word of YHWH came in the days of King Josiah, and after. Jeremiah lived during a turbulent period, the final years of the kingdom of Judah, from the death of King Josiah 609 BCE and the loss of independence that followed, through the destruction of Jerusalem by the Babylonians and the exile of much its population 587-586. The book depicts a remarkably introspective prophet, impetuous and often angered by the role into which he has been thrust, alternating efforts to warn the people with pleas to God for mercy, until he is ordered to pray no more for this people." He engages in extensive performance art, walking about in the streets with a yoke about his neck and engaging in other efforts to attract attention. He is taunted and retaliates, is thrown in jail as the result, and at one point is thrown into a pit to die. <laughs> Jeremiah and the Deuteronomists the Deuteronomists were a school or movement who edited the books of Joshua, Judges, Samuel and Kings into a more or less unified history of Israel the so-called Deuteronomistic history during the Jewish exile in Babylon 6th century BCE. 
It is argued that the Deuteronomists played an important role in the production of the Book of Jeremiah. For example, there is clear Deuteronomistic language in chapter 25, in which the prophet looks back over 23 years of unheeded prophecy. From the Deuteronomistic perspective, the prophetic role implied, more than anything else, concern with law and covenant after the manner of Moses. On this reading Jeremiah was the last of a long line of prophets sent to warn Israel of the consequences of infidelity to God. Unlike the Deuteronomists, for whom the call for repentance was always central, Jeremiah seems at some point in his career to have decided that further intercession was pointless, and that Israel's fate was sealed. Topic. Jeremiah as a new Moses Topic. The book S. Superscription claims that Jeremiah was active for forty years, from the thirteenth year of Josiah 627 BCE to the fall of Jerusalem in 587. It is clear from the last chapters of the book, however, that he continued to speak in Egypt after the assassination of Gedaliah, the Babylonian appointed governor of Judah, in 582. This suggests that the superscription is trying to make a theological point about Jeremiah by comparing him to Moses, where Moses spent forty years leading Israel from slavery in Egypt to the Promised Land. Jeremiah's forty years saw Israel exiled from the land and Jeremiah himself ultimately in exile in Egypt. Themes <inaudible> 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 Topic. Covenant Topic. Much of Jeremiah's prophetic preaching is based on the theme of the covenant between God and Israel God would protect the people in return for their exclusive worship of him. Jeremiah insists that the covenant is conditional, and can be broken by Israel's apostasy worship of gods other than Yahweh, the God of Israel. The people, says Jeremiah, are like an unfaithful wife and rebellious children, their infidelity and rebelliousness makes judgment inevitable. Interspersed with this are references to repentance and renewal, although it is unclear whether Jeremiah thought that repentance could ward off judgment or whether it would have to follow judgment. The theme of restoration is strongest in chapter 31-32, which looks to a future in which a new covenant made with Israel and Judah, one which will not be broken. This is the theme of the New Covenant passage at chapter 31 to 31 minus 34, drawing on Israel's past relationship with God through the covenant at Sinai to foresee a new future in which Israel will be obedient to God. Topic: The Confessions of Jeremiah. Topic: Scholars have identified several passages in Jeremiah that can be understood as confessions. They occur in the first section of the book chapters 1 to 25 and are 1118-12.6, 1510-21, 1714-22, 1718-19, 1718-20, 1718-21, 1718-23, 1718-24, 1718-25, 1718-26, 1718-27, 1718-28, 1718-29, 1718-30, 1718-31, 1718-32, 1718-33, 1718-34, 1718-35, 1718-36, 1718-37, 1718-38, 1718-39, 1718-40, 1718-41, 1718-42, 1718-43, 1718-44, 1718-45, 1718-46, 1718-47, 1718-48, 1718-49, 1718-50, 1718-51, 1718-52, 1718-53, 1718-54, 1718-55, 1718-56, 1718-57, 1718-58, 1718-59, 1718-60, 1718-61, 1718-62, 1718-63, 1718-64, 1718-65, 1718-66, 1718-67, 1718-68, 1718-69, 1718-70, 1718-71, 1718-72, 1718-73, 1718-74, 1718-75, 1718-76, 1718-77, 1718-78, 1718-79, 1718-80, 1718-81, 1718-82, 1718-83, 1718-84, 1718-85, 1718-86, 1718-87, 1718-88, 1718-89, 1718-90, 1718-91, 1718-92, 1718-93, 1718-94, 1718-95, 1718-96, 1718-97, 1718-98, 1718-99, 1718-10, 1718-11, 1718-12, 1718-13, 1718-14, 1718-15, 1718-16, 1718-17, 1718-18, 1718-19, 1718-20, 1718-21, 1718-22, 1718-23, 1718-24, 1718-25, 1718-26, 1718-27, 1718-28, 1718-29, 1718-30, 1718-31, 1718-32, 1718-33, 1718-34, 1718-35, 1718-36, 1718-37, 1718-38, 1718-39, 1718-40, 1718-41, 1718-42, 1718-43, 1718-44, 1718-45, 1718-46, 1718-47, 1718-48, 1718-49, 1718-50, 1718-51, 1718-52, 1718-53, 1718-54, 1718-55, 1718-56, 1718-57, 1718-58, 1718-59, 1718-60, 1718-61, 1718-62, 1718-63, 1718-64, 1718-65, 1718-66, 1718-67, 1718-68, 1718-69, 1718-70, 1718-71, 1718-72, 1718-73, 1718-74, 1718-75, 1718-76, 1718-77, 1718-78, 1718-79, 1718-80, 1718-81, 1718-82, 1718-83, 1718-84, 1718-85, 1718-86, 1718-87, 1718-88, 1718-89, 1718-90, 1718-91, 1718-92, 1718-93, 1718-94, 1718-95, 1718-96, 1718-97, 1718-98, 1718-99, 1718-100, 1718-101, 1718-102, 1718-103, 1718-104, 1718-105, 1718-106, 1718-107, 1718-108, 1718-109, 1718-110, 1718-111, 1718-112, 1718-113, 1718-114, 1718-115, 1718-116, 1718-117, 1718-118, 1718-119, 1718-120, 1718-121, 1718-122, 1718-123, 1718-124, 1718-125, 1718-126, 1718-127, 1718-128, 1718-129, 1718-130, 1718-131, 1718-132, 1718-133, 1718-134, 1718-135, 1718-136, 1718-137, 1718-138, 1718-139, 1718-140, 1718-141, 1718-142, 1718-143, 1718-144, 1718-145, 1718-146, 1718-147, 1718-148, 1718-149, 1718-150, 1718-151, 1718-152, 1718-153, 1718-154, 1718-155, 1718-156, 1718-157, 1718-158, 1718-159, 1718-160, 1718-170, 1718-171, 1718-172, 1718-173, 1718-174, 1718-175, 1718-176, 1718-177, 1718-178, 1718-179, 1718-180, 1718-181, 1718-182, 1718-183, 1718-184, 1718-185, 1718-186, 1718-187, 1718-188, 1718-189, 1718-190, 1718-191, 1718-192, 1718-193, 1718-194, 1718-195, 1718-196, 1718-197, 1718-198, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1718-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 1719-199, 
Not unique to the Book of Jeremiah, these were often bizarre and violated the cultural norms of the time e.g. Ezekiel chapter 4 verses 4 to 8. They served the purposes of both drawing audience and causing that audience to ask questions, giving a prophet the opportunity to explain the meaning of the behavior. The recorder of the events in the written text i.e. the author of the text had neither the same audience nor, potentially, the same intent that Jeremiah had in performing these prophetic gestures. The following is a list, not exhaustive, of noteworthy sign acts found in Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 13 verses 1 to 11 The wearing, burial, and retrieval of a linen waistband. Jeremiah chapter 16 verses 1 to 9 The shunning of the expected customs of marriage, mourning, and general celebration. Jeremiah chapter 19 verses 1 to 13 The acquisition of a clay jug and the breaking of said jug in front of the religious leaders of Jerusalem. Jeremiah 27 to 28 The wearing of an oxen yoke and its subsequent breaking by a false prophet Ananiah. Jeremiah chapter 32 verses 6 to 15 The purchase of a field in Anathoth for the price of 17 silver shekels. Jeremiah chapter 35 verses 1 to 19 The offering of wine to the Rechabites, a tribe known for living in tents and refusing to drink wine. This was done in the temple, which is an important part of the breaking of societal norms. Topic. Later interpretation and influence Topic. Topic. Judaism Topic. The influence of Jeremiah during and after the exile was considerable in some circles, and three additional books, the Book of Baruch, Lamentations, and the Letter of Jeremiah, were attributed to him in Second Temple Judaism Judaism in the period between the building of the Second Temple in about 515 BCE and its destruction in 70 CE. In the Greek Septuagint they stand between Jeremiah and the Book of Ezekiel, but only Lamentations is included in modern Jewish or Protestant Bibles the Letter of Jeremiah appears in Catholic Bibles as the sixth chapter of Baruch. Jeremiah is mentioned by name in Chronicles and the Book of Ezra, both dating from the later Persian period, and his prophecy that the Babylonian exile would last seventy years was taken up and reapplied by the author of the Book of Daniel in the second century BCE. <laughs> Christianity the understanding of the early Christians that Jesus represented a new covenant. See 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 25 and Hebrews chapter 8 verses 6 to 13 is based on Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 31 to 34, in which a future Israel will repent and give God the obedience he demands. The gospel's portrayal of Jesus as a persecuted prophet owes a great deal to the account of Jeremiah s sufferings in chapters 37 to 44 as well as to the songs of the suffering servant in isaiah topic see also topic nebo sarsecum tablet topic citations topic Topic. Bibliography Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Hebrew text Jeremiah, Micro Gedalot Hackader, Online Edition, Menachem Cohen, Bar Elon University, Hebrew Ermai Yirmayahu, Jeremiah, Hebrew Translations into English Jewish translations Jeremiah at Meccan Mamre Jewish Publication Society translation Yirmiyahu Jeremiah Judaica Press translation with Rashi's commentary at habad.org Christian translations Online Bible at gospelhall.org Jeremiah at the Great Books New Revised Standard Version via archive.org Bible Jeremiah Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox various versions Commentary Jewish Commentary Jeremiah Judaica Press with Rashi's Commentary at Chabad.org Abraham Joshua Heschel, The Prophets. HarperCollins Paperback, 1975. 
ISBN 0-06-131421-8 Jewish Encyclopedia Book of Jeremiah article Farrell Till 1990. The Jeremiah Dilemma. The Skeptical Review 4. Archived from the original on 8 February 2005. Retrieved 30 January 2005. Introductions Introduction to the Book of Jeremiah. 